Hi everybody, happy Thursday, Doreen at Door Designs. First off, I have my phone turned sideways. I had several people ask me to try it this way. Um, it just kind of gives you a little bit of a wider view. So when you're clicking on it, I think if you turn your iPad or iPhone, you should get the wider view. So I'm hoping this one's gonna work. Um, second of all, been a crazy week this week and a crazy week next week. Um, both of our grandsons had their awards assemblies today. Our granddaughter graduates high school tonight. Um, Elizabeth's soccer team is playing for district champions, so tomorrow night's the big game. It's going to be a tough one, but it's going to be a good one. And then next weekend, we're celebrating Elizabeth's graduation. So I have a few family members coming in and, you know, just kind of crazy busy. But Stan and I are very blessed to live uh, or have our grandkids live in the same town that, that we live in because they keep us young and active. So anyway, that's why I've been kind of a little bit uh, absent this week, uh, just because I've just been on the go nonstop. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started with today's design. I'm going to be using a white grapevine again. And like I said, these are just a grapevine that's been spray painted white. And you can spray paint them any color you want. But I'm going to be doing a theme today is going to be a nautical theme. I got this metal um, yard stake at a wholesaler uh, at their cash and carry. They only had one, so I grabbed it because I've had a lot of people ask me to do a nautical theme. So one thing, when you're like at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or Walmart, wherever, always go to the yard stuff to see what kind of metal or wood signs they have, because all you have to do is cut the bottom off if you want to uh, add them to a wreath. I've used a lot of them over the years, um, especially like in fall, they've got pumpkins and scarecrows and different things, or just signs, a lot of Halloween signs that make good backdrops in your wreath. So on this one, I did cut off one of the stakes a little bit shorter because I'm just gonna feed these stakes through my grapevine and then I'm gonna zip tie them in. And then I may have to put a little zip tie up here on the chain part of it to make sure that it's secure there on the top. So let's go ahead and feed this through. And I'm gonna keep it at a little bit of an angle. We go. And I am going to have to zip tie it because it's not staying uh, far enough back on the top. So let's get this zip tied in. And I'm just going to feed my zip tie behind the grapevine. it down. So we've got the top secure and really you probably wouldn't even have to zip tie the bottom but I'm going to go ahead and zip tie it on this one end just to make sure but it's pretty well secure in there but I would hate for it to pop out. Okay, we've got it secure. Now, if you want, you could do yours if you want the anchor to go straight up, but I'm gonna keep mine at an angle a little bit, and we're gonna put the bow and then kind of decorate a little bit above and below. I went ahead and made the bow, and here are the ribbons I used. I used two ribbons that have the anchors the burlap and the navy, and then a little bit of the brighter blue with the navy. And then I did a navy and white and a lighter blue plaid, a lighter blue with the stripes, a little polka dot, and then I know I'm going to get people that are going to write and not going to like it, but I added some yellow. 
And the reason I did, I wanted to kind of break up and not have the bow entirely blue and white. And I know some people would want red and stuff, but I wanted something a little bit different. So I did pop it with a little bit of yellow and it just kind of makes it a little bit brighter, kind of a summer because the colors I'm going to use in some of the florals are going to be bright yellows. So that is the bow. It's nice and big. And you could put the bow here or over here if you wanted. You could even put your bow up at the top and let your tails hang down and decorate it down below. But I think I'm going to put mine right about here. And I'm going to bring a little bit of greenery and florals here. And then I'm going to take my height up on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and get the bow attached. And I'm just going to feed my zip tie through here. You know, the one thing about when you paint your grapevines, sometimes it's harder, a little bit harder to work with because your grapevines are stuck together. So we get that nice and full and secure. Let's cut that off. And we can kind of move this around and uh, trim it back if we want to once we get everything done. So uh, let's start adding some greenery. So I'm going to start out with this uh, eucalyptus that's got a little bit of the blue on the tips. And I'm going to take probably three of them up and maybe two or three coming down. So I'm just going to rip them apart here. Stick those down nice and tight. I want them actually to go down in this bigger spot here. Since they're so long coming up, I'm going to zip tie the bottom here. I don't want to cut them any shorter because I want I want the height. There we go. I'm going to kind of bend these back just a little bit, but I want to keep them nice and light. And I love the blue tips on them with the blue in the anchor. So let's put some coming out of our, the bottom of it. I'm going to add a shorter piece.
Okay, so we've got the bow attached, and then we've got some greenery coming up, and then a few pieces coming down. This is kind of a heavy wreath. Okay, next I'm just going to add some different greeneries. This one's got some little white flowers on the end. We're just going to start filling and doing, doing some layering. I'm going to add a little bit of greenery up under my bow on my tails because I want it to become part of the bow. And I'll give you a close-up here in just a minute. Cut some more greenery. And there you can see the little white flowers coming through. And then I put some greenery in through the loops here. Okay, now I want to add a little bit of yellow because I want to bring out that yellow that I put in my ribbon. And some blue. I love how the yellow starts to bring out the yellow in the ribbon. But I have these big ones, so I, would, I do want to add one or two nice big florals here. And I'm going to take one at the bottom. And 
And I'm going to trim some of these tails off here in just a second. I'm going to add just a touch of the really bright, deep blue. It's almost got a little bit of a purple cast to it. One or two more of the dark blue. I'm using a few pieces of this filler bush that I have left over just to kind of fill in a few spots. I have just a little bit of, not really a hole, but it's not as full as I would like it. Just about done. There. I wanted to kind of soften a little bit of where the anchor was going up here. So I just kind of added a little bit of that filler bush right there. And now I'm going to trim some of my ribbons back. And we'll have this one about done. So I'm either going to get a lot of people loving the yellow in it or a lot of people not going to like the yellow. And that's okay because I love getting the feedback. So we're just going to curl a few of these top ribbons. And 
and then we're just going to fluff out the bottom ones here. Okay guys, I think we're done. So it's a nice big, and like I said, you could hang it straight up if you want your anchor to go or kind of at the angle. I'll turn it around this way so you get a better view of it. So nice and full and pretty, ready for your door at your lake house or your beach house or out by your pool. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, nauti nautical design. Um, I will have it listed in my shop later today and that's shopdoordesigns.com. Have a great weekend and uh, I may be back for fun day Friday tomorrow, just depending how my day goes. Take care, bye-bye.